Continuing with our show, here's part 2 of our Q&A with a spotlight on JP Orbeta, the man behind Volkswagen Philippines, together with our guest motoring journalist, Brian Afuang, motoring editor of the Manila Times, and Ira Panginiban, editor-in-chief of Autocar Magazine. In terms of model lineups, yeah. uh, I know the uh, Beetle is coming in. Uh, what what's next for for in in the on the table? Well, as you know, when we first started, uh, we started with Diesel lineup. Our current models are all on the TDI uh, platform. Um, we're now with the Beetle. We're now starting to bring in our TSI platform. So we're now bringing in the the gasoline or petrol versions. We're starting with the Beetle, but we're also going to do that now with um, some of our previous models, you know, the Turan, the Tiguan. Then, as we move ahead, uh, we're also looking at bringing in now um, some of our hatchbacks, um, you know, so the Polo hatchback will come in. We'll start looking into that, and then a lot of it depends also on the timing of model changes. Eventually, although not yet this year, um, we're trying to accelerate it, but um, um, we're also eventually going to bring in, start bringing in the bigger sedans like the Passats uh, and the CCs, um, as well as the Golf um, eventually. So a really diverse yeah, range really of... Yeah. to bring in the whole range. As you mentioned earlier, uh, most especially for the young, young people, uh, Volkswagen, the Beetle is the Herbie series of, uh, of, of movies. So probably what they would be asking is, okay, Volkswagen was here before and the they made a big bang while they were here, and uh, now they're back. So what? I mean, what is Volkswagen here to offer to, to, to the Philippines? Uh, or maybe I should say, what is the vision of Volkswagen uh, in the Philippines? What is the vision of your company as far as uh, your participation in the automotive, local automotive industry is concerned? You know, I think um, for at the end of the day, we, we believe we have a very good product. Um, Volkswagen its engineering, um, its um, fuel efficiency, um, its safety. You know, I think at the end of the day, it's a very good product. And, um, you know, everybody talks about German engineering. Everybody talks about that, um, you know, the German cars are, are one of the best um, um, around. That doesn't say that the others aren't, but then there's a certain um, attractiveness of German uh, engineered cars. Unfortunately, all the current models have really been at the premium market or the luxury market, you know, in terms of price points. We're really saying we're now able to offer that same engineering um, at a much more affordable price. Um, and that our cars are a joy to, to drive. Uh, they're, um, our tagline is they're engineered for play. Um, and so I think at the end of the day, all we're asking the younger crowd, you haven't experienced a Volkswagen, come to our showrooms do a test drive and you'll see what we're talking about. Don't take our word for it, try it yourselves. When you talk of engineering, when you talk of, of engine performance, somehow, you, especially the young people, they, they would associate this to something, a, a, a more dynamic demonstration, like probably getting involved in, in motorsports. Would you have any plans of getting involved in motorsports in the Philippines, if only to show the, the capabilities of the Volkswagen? We haven't discussed that yet, uh, Butch. Um, I'm not putting it out of the of the question. I guess that's something that over the long term we'll have to review and we'll have to establish on whether um, it makes sense for us to do that. So right now, the Vox is here. We know that Vox is very aggressive. Volkswagen is pretty popular with the spending people. That's our age, as if I can spend anything. Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> but so where is Volkswagen directed at this point in time? Well, let me correct something. When you say spending people, if you look at our prices, we're not really way out of the market. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so yes, we're at the premium over mainstream, but um, you know, our prices are actually at very affordable price points. Um, and so, you know, I think um, that's the first thing we have to educate, the myth that we're, because we're German, we're expensive. That's exactly why I said earlier that um, we're trying to bring that, that te same technology and engineering and, and um, elegance to a price point that is affordable. Uh, and so, you know, with our prices of our Polo or our Jetta or our um, um, Turan, you know, uh, and now when we launch our Beetle, you know, all of those price points are actually at very rich uh, prices. So, first point lang, uh, is that 
we're really not out of the league. I think that's point number one. But to your question, Ro, on where we're heading with this, is we really, at the end of the day, uh, want to be a volume premium brand so that we'd like to see you know, much, many more Volkswagens on the road and we'd like to see many more consumers um, enjoying uh, owning a Volkswagen. A curious personal question, sure. with all due respect. What is the rationale of the names of your models, like Taureg, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, <laughs> uh, uh, where do you get this? Uh, I know Taureg is the name of a tribe, I guess. Tribe. Well, it's funny, but even like the Tiguan is the cross between a tiger and an iguana. The product planners and, you know, it's so, they are so careful about that, that actually the board um, of VWAG really gets heavily involved um, in choosing the names, in looking at the cars and all of that. At the end of the day, they're, they're German engineers. Many of them are, are so there and no they partner, really... Like I know of a car brand that, uh, whose models uh, start with the letter E. Always. Always with the letter E. I don't have to mention <coughs> the car brand. E, do you have any pattern or it's only what the engineers think of? I think at the end of the day, they, they you know, um, we were briefed once in, in, in Wolfsburg. Um, uh, and they, they look at it, you know, from the drawings to the execution to the resin, um, ex, you know, resin models to, um, you know, to the prototype and all of that. And throughout, um, they're just getting the feel of what this name would be. <laughs> and, and, you know, when it's actually random, born, so yeah. Um, there's no r rhyme and reason when we ask them. In, in this global um, scheme of Volkswagen, what, how big a role will ASEAN play in this? Actually, what started this uh, was my understanding, because we weren't there yet, was about five years ago, five or six years ago, when they were looking at the map, and um, Volkswagen had said that by they want to, they have, a, they have an aspiration of being number one by 2018, 2018. And they started looking at the map and they said they, they saw this big white space <laughs> on the map, <laughs> which was ASEAN. And they said, wait a minute, what's happening in ASEAN? You know, because they have China where they're producing and they're selling millions of cars a year. And then, you know, then you have the US, you have um, Europe, you have, you know, so they have all these parts of the map. And then this little corner of the world, um, you know, was, was, was pretty uh, small. And so that's when all eyes started to move. Okay, what's our ASEAN strategy? Where are we going to produce cars? How are we going to bring them in? You know, and that's when they became a little bit more aggressive now in um, in ASEAN. Uh, and so, um, you know, they have uh, operations now in most of the uh, ASEAN countries. Okay, guys, I think we've uh, taken a lot of uh, time of uh, JP here, but uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank you very much. I know you're a very busy man, you're a very busy Ayala executive. <laughs> several interests uh, all at the same time uh, but before we end this would you like to uh, come up with any message to our viewers especially our car enthusiasts about Volkswagen or anything about sure Salamat. <laughs> I'd like to encourage uh, and invite everyone to visit our showroom uh, it's at uh, BGC uh, Bonifacio Global City um, and really take the chance to test drive uh, one of our cars of a test drive, I think you will know what I'm talking about when I say it's a fun vehicle to drive, it's engineered for play, and we do hope uh, you just visit us and take, don't take my word for it, try it yourselves and you'll see what I'm talking about. Salamat. And that's our Q&A on Autofocus this week. I'd like to thank our guest panelists this week, Mr. Ira Panginiban, Editor-in-Chief of Autocar. Thank you very thank much, you. Butch. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Brian Afuang, uh, the Manila Times Motoring Editor. Brian, thank, thank you. Much. you. Always a pleasure. And of course, Mr. J.B. Orbeta of Automobile Central Enterprises Incorporated, the exclusive importers and distributors of Volkswagen vehicles in the country. Until the next time. Salamat Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. We'll have more personalities from the automobile industry on the spotlight on our future presentations of the Autofocus Q&A. Our special feature this week is coming up next. Stay tuned.